Hello, I'm Jesse with American Radon Mitigation. In this video, we are going to discuss some of the challenges one might encounter when doing radon mitigation. So this house was built in 1975 and it's got radon levels between three and four. We've got a split entry. So you walk in, there's a little bedroom and then you can go up or down. Under that entryway, there's a crawl space with a concrete floor, thankfully. But just a few things on the outside of the house. We've got an attached garage. There's a chance that that could contribute right onto the house. However, it's not really likely from what I've found. We've got this front step area. This could also contribute right onto the house, but again, not very likely. I've mitigated four front steps in the last nine years. So let's take a look at the basement and see some of the challenges we can encounter down there. All right, so coming down in the basement, the first challenge that's obvious is we've got a finished basement. We don't have drain tiles, so we can't just tap into one spot in the floor and reach everything. We've got that crawl space that's under the front entry and bedroom. Uh, however, we've likely got a footing running through here because we've got a block wall. So that's gonna cut our suction off from the rest of the basement, from our primary suction point there. And then here, running down the center of the house, we've also got a load-bearing wall with a center footing. So we don't know if that footing runs all the way through, which is gonna help block our pressure field extension from one side to the other, or if it stops right here. So that's one challenge that I'm looking at. Um, and then going back to the finished basement, uh, the big thing is how do I get piping to this side of the house if our radon system is gonna be in the garage and our primary suction point back in that uh, crawl space area. But over on this far side of the house, one of the other challenges we have is we've got this shower stall and there's potential to have a plumbing block out underneath that shower stall. So it's like a one foot by one foot hole. That might be an air leak that we can't really easily seal without doing some demo. And then we've got all the self side plumbing on this side of the house as well, furthest from where our radon system is going to be. So uh, we got to find a way likely to tap into the sub slab plumbing and that involves getting a pipe or suction over to this side of the house. One of the other challenges we've got here is sandy soil. That's better than clay. However, if it's fine sand, it's going to be hard to get pressure fuel extension. If it's coarse sand, it's going to be a lot better. So just a few of the challenges we can run into on a house with a finished basement.